I'm Jonathan Leap. I'm a first year student in the Masters of Science in Transportation program. I'm also pretty obsessed with dancing. As you can see, I have studio mirrors in my apartment. My project is called Danceable, and it's about discovering music that you can dance to with your style. I'm all about Brazilian zouk. And when I go to a zouk party, I want to hear some traditional stuff like this. And sometimes some energetic stuff like this. At the end of the night, I want to hear something pretty smooth, maybe some R&B like this. So the thing is, you can dance Zouk to so many different styles of music, it's pretty hard to know where to start to try and find new music to dance to. I can't simply look up a genre uh, or an artist. You know, it takes more than that to identify if a song is really Zoukable. So that's where Danceable comes in. Danceable is a very standard Node.js application. It involves a server file with a Node.js code, um, where I use the express package to communicate between the server and the front end. It includes a package.json file, which lists all of the NPM packages that I took advantage of. It includes an HTML file, which includes all the front end code. In this case, I used Bootstrap, and I also used the EJS framework, which allowed me to make the HTML code dynamic and interact with the back end. I also have a JavaScript file, um, so I can mani manipulate some features of the app on, on the client side. And I have a CSS file um, that creates all of the custom styling in the app. The convolutional neural network um, behind the, the genre detection is in, in Python, and it's based on code I found on GitHub, which was originally um, produced by Disboys J, and then branched by Nihal, uh, who added some features to it. And I, I further edited the code to, for example, um, increase its accuracy, um, accommodate dance styles instead of simply genres, and also accommodate characters from foreign languages. This is Danceable. You can select your favorite dance style, and it'll automatically show you playlists from Spotify, SoundCloud, and YouTube with songs that are suitable for that style. You can even upload your own MP3 and then analyze it. Danceable will show you a spectrogram representing the song that you've chosen. It'll allow you to play the song. It'll show you the beats per minute of the song, and it'll show you a graph with the results of the machine learning algorithm which tries to predict uh, for which dance genre it's, it's most suitable. Down at the bottom it shows you the title, artist, album, and year of the song. On the right side of the app, you can actually give Danceable feedback. You can tap this button to give it the correct beats per minute of the song. You can check boxes of the dance styles that you would dance to for this song. And then finally you can correct the metadata of the songs and just submit that back to Danceable. And then finally, after making your corrections, you can download the corrected mp3 file. The risks involved with the Danceable app are not very serious. The users are not making life or death decisions based on the information provided. That said, I can think of a few risks. One of them is that downloading mp3s from services like SoundCloud and YouTube is against the terms of service. Currently, those features are not enabled, but if I were to implement those features, that could be a problem. Second, if I have a lot of users that are uploading mp3s, I could fill up a server space very quickly. Finally, there's a risk of offending traditionalists. These are people who believe that certain dance styles should only be danced to traditional music. The risks of dancing itself, though, can be quite severe. For example, you might get uppercut by mistake. You might lose track of your partner. Or you might decide that dancing is a lot more fun than going to MIT. Overall, though, I hope the dance bowl helps people enjoy themselves.